wondering if, because you see the tiny wisp, well, they're just going to be like in farm stacks with one of their right, supports. Yeah. So generally one thing Seeker has been really good about is abusing it. I mean, one option is to actually run the axe as a four position if they feel like they can get away with it. All right, jungle Doom. Bone 7. Jungle Nature's Prophet. They're yeah. going to ban Bone 7 jungle Storm here. Spirit. Yeah. Uh, oh. Nature's Prophet, Clockwork. Uh, did I see Legion Commander? Legion Commander? Oh, Bone 7 plays Mag. Nature's Prophet. Plays what? Uh, Bone 7 plays Mag. He is not oh, going right. to have a fun lane. So it's going to be a Fata hero. Hmm. I mean, do you really want to run off lane Magnus this game, though? Oh, actually, last time I picked it, he played mid and fought to. Yeah, gonna fought go, that who's going to go off lane, though? Yeah. Tiny I guess you run the Tiny West Bane safe, or Bane plus one off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bane I, plus I don't, one I don't think you want to put Mag solo off lane. So if they're going to if they're gonna run it for Bone 7, then maybe they do look to give it to a mid. They're thinking about the ban. They have 38 seconds left. This is probably the most important pick or actually ban of, of their lives <laughs> not of their life but of this uh, pick and ban stage because everything else was pretty straightforward oh. I'm gonna decide to deny Fata the beast so they do bring a Fata hero which yeah. would be in line with the, the Magnus go above them yes. fifth ban now for Cloud9 and uh, this comes down to the question if they think there's any chance of a, a jungle axe but they expect it to be a core so they're gonna ban that ancient apparition mm -hmm. let's see what secret six pick you is. know what's crazy is puppy could pull lacking yeah, Our yeah, PC he's done that. It's been yeah. ages, but yes. you're right, Shannon. He did used to play the jungle like in once in a while. Now he was much better jungle from level one back then. He's yeah. He needs his levels a bit more now before he goes into the woods. Yep. I, I think more likely if they run something as a four position jungler, it would be the axe. Uh, how do you feel about? I mean, you need AOE stun here. Did the secret play Lina? They ran the support Lina for Kuroki. Yes. It worked really well. Reserve it was with time. S4 Nyx safe lane. So they're running a dually Nyx lane. Mm. It could be a Rubik even. Looking at something that has D push because Lina and Lutra come to mind. The track a little bit more of a fringe pick these days. Uh, they banned the AA. Oh, they're going to oh, get the wow. silencer, which cancels the main ultimate. That's good. Well, it's good against relocate in general. Uh, but you need levels in this hero. That's I'm not a big fan of this hero's support, but... I am, I, I, I... It's also good against the grip. If, like, let's say you're, that's you're like, gets gripped in a bad position, you just global, you, just, you get to get out of jail. That seems hard. to be the, the, main, the main situation, because even with relocate, like, if you see the relocate and you silence, seconds, okay, remaining. Tiny will not be able to use your combo on you, but they can still hit you. Five seconds they can still punch you with they their, can still punch their big you stony hands. Tether you. You know, he actually doesn't even kill anyone time. with that horn on his head. Five seconds. Well, I feel like he could Remaining. as a last resort. Oh, sh Shadow of Two. Ooh, okay. To the end. <laughs> There's a font of an Magnus, as, as suggested. And uh, let's see. I imagine the silencer is a support. Yes. The lanes are going to be interesting for C9. Yeah, I think we'll see just Shadow Fiend mid, probably dual lane, tiny with Flane, and the Bane mag off. Bane off. Maybe the Bane roaming a bit. Yeah. But it, it puts their lanes very static. Oh, nine, and maybe that team can take advantage of as well. Whether they will want to try lane the, the safe lane or just try to be a little bit more put. Elisir and Axe are actually a, a combination of dots that are very, very annoying. It's really hard for whoever goes off against these two, especially because people have HAL damage as well. Yes. Five seconds remaining.
30 seconds to battle. Right? Oh, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. This. Okay. No one knows that I was so valuable out here and still sitting waiting. Well, well, a couple seconds here. No action break just yet. Just a bit of enfeeble harass in the mid lane. We'll introduce our two teams. On the tire side, it's going to be secret. S4 going to be on the mid puck. In the east lane, it's going to be Zai playing the off lane axe. In the safe lane, trial lane, puppy on the evil spirit. We've got Kuro, Kuroki playing the silencer. And finally, Arteezy on the lichen. Radiant side, it's Team Cloud9. Bone7 on the off lane, Magnet. In the mid lane, Misery going to be doing some harass on the Bane. Supporting Fata on the Shadow Fiend. And in the safe lane, it is going to be the Eternal MB Tiny, supported by the Big Daddy No Tell Wisp. Well, the, looking at the lane progression right now, X has a decent amount of losses yeah. from the first wave, 3 to 0, and you compare that to the Magnus, Magnus has nothing so far from the off lane. It's where uh, Cloud9 are looking to make up for it elsewhere. They've had the mid lane. Fat is doing fantastic against the park. Look at S4. How often do you see this guy? 0-0 zero, zero for last hits. A minute and a half, two minutes into the, the game. It's with how support as well. Mm. Misery has done his job with this level 1 and feeble. He is still level 1. He has to transition from here, but as far as the start goes for the mid lane, it's fantastic. Yeah, this is uh, something that teams do very often. They have Shadow Fin on their team. They want to give him the edge. But once I'm committing the first few minutes, to just make sure the Shadow Fiend gets his soul, and he's going to dominate, proceed to the lane after that. You see this on a support like Skyrim, but obviously Bane will be able to be more annoying with the Enfeeble. Yeah. Once SF gets his souls, it becomes so difficult for Puck to sit. All he can really do is maybe look to use his nukes to last hit. He just doesn't have the damage that matches up to the Shadow Fiend, so... Early on, a lot of harass down bottom lane. Zai! Able to put out a lot of damage with it. This room could be able to, could be looking to make something happen, but there is full bottle charges onto No Tail's Wisp. He's looking to use Envy perhaps as bait here. As the Radiant team scout this one, we just seeing him a bit creep wave, and it seems like he's kind of wary of the injury and hoping that Zai perhaps goes on him. Mm, yeah, they did indeed see him pick up the Invis room, so he probably wants to just stay a bit safe, but at the same time, like you mentioned, full bottle charges on the Wisp. Yeah. Not, not much of a big deal. X is still going to get a lot more from the Ollie than the Magnus here. Already level 4.5 here. A fantastic lane for Zai, just having a duel. He's coming from behind, but get off a girl call or anything to disrupt Nutel there. And uh, Nutel has dewatered the pool camp with sentries, but still is yet to respawn, so. Just some casual body blocks going from the axe, I imagine, to prevent that from happening. And yeah, and Zai just plays his off the after he noticed that the Wisp has already finished using up his sentries. But they actually spot it out with the observer there. Okay, so in comes Misery. At this point, though, they don't have any sentry wards, unless they want to ferry some more out to deal with it, but uh, probably is content with the knowledge of exactly where he is. In the mid lane, XF continuing to crush the puck. 19 last hits, 12 denies to the four last hits, and single deny for S4. What am I? Off, there's going to be a toss for him. We're going to throw this one, but Zai is looking to f the toss directly. Up, but Zai wants to call on Big Daddy Nutel. He's cutting this perfectly, but he gets the spin. Needs another great nightmare type from Misery. And Envy has the toss. He's going to get the first blood. Great start to this game for Cloud9. Really well kited there. Just good execution. Yeah, it was very good like patience from Misery. Holding on to the nightmare as long as possible until he absolutely needed to use it when Big Daddy was in trouble. It's a very good play by Misery, and of course, no tail as well when kiting the axe, getting his wrist to do all the damage there. Well, off that, I mean, Cloud9, first spot in the bottom lane with Envy farming well, Fata crushing the mid lane. 
Secret for now are committing to this off this trap on top, but they need to support me. S4 has been picked up, he's got no all about the jaunt, won't be available, and S4 may just get right click down the shockwave, could miss though, and Bones have a nice rotation in, hits Zai with the skewer, they need to hit some more raises here, Fata gets one more, one click, not enough, the magic for killing back up, Kuro's teeping in, once big Diddy no tell, and Wisp completely isolated, gonna run into the puck, bring down on his own, and Fata looks to turn around, has some more raises, throws one, two over the puppy, great placement coming up from I will not get it. And now Zai in all sorts of trouble. Fata's got himself a. Oh, he's got the Z raise. Gonna bring Zai with one more right click. Another kill to Shadow Feet. Full kill for Fata. He's off to the dream stuff here. A bloody mess in the middle lane, and it's Cloud9 who come out on top. Yeah, it was a great play by me and setting up. It was unfortunate they didn't get the kill on the park. I really thought they we should have gotten the kill. It was a misshot away from Bones and uh, but in the end they still got off the battle trade with Misery and with a couple of good men to set up the fight for his team. Yeah, and MV meanwhile was fine. It was Arteezy on the safe lane like and those both carrier using the space they were getting but all supports rotating in and another kill onto the axes. Mm. It really hurt Bones Iden progression into that blink deck. Just look at the CS of everyone. X with a very good start still hasn't been able to get too many last sets, but has the same amount of last the park which is something misery accomplished by being in the first being in the lane for the first two minutes helping SF just last the two waves of creeps and resulting into this big disparity in CS yep. well control here they're securing runes here with the SF will just push out the lane and getting the bottom rune even so both runes being claimed by the Cloud9 team and Right now, it looks like it's going to rotate their Lycan into the jungle. That's going to give the safe lane to the Sansa to get XP, get some farm, and try and get that level 6 global silence online as early as possible. And so far, this is still getting its level. It's supposed to get to level 6 as soon as possible. There has been no stack for the Shadowfin. Very, very easy that that happened because this early game has been so much movement from the spots of online. And Big Daddy probably going to start stacking right now for the Shadowfin. It feels like they've got enough out of the early support rotations that they can now sit back and look to play that economy game. They can look to out-farm Secret, get the stack zone, because that's something Secret done a really good job. Yeah. Yeah. Stack in the jungle for the like C9, Shadowfin, and Tiny, and, and Power. At some point of the game when the man starts to win his levels, it's going to be the point where C9 is just going to out-farm Secret, uh, High Man, and Power, and Shadowfin, and, Tone, and Tiny. Both heroes with very good creep curses. And X at the moment is still in the middle lane. Not anywhere close to playing. Going to get his level 6 soon. That would be a big difference with, between him and offlane Magnus of Cloud9. Do you feel like it matters to he put her on Tiny, and that's all his main job. Yeah, he needs to put him for him. I don't think he needs to be that far compared to the X. X needs to have his big deck a lot faster than the X in this game. We've seen Nine even pressuring towers now with double damage rune on Fata. They get in some uh, hits on this tier 1 tower. Wisp even coming in with uh, the tether heal as well as the overcharge on Fata, who's just going to take up the tower the Siege Creep alive. And See, this is throwing in heroes. This is going to be an early T1 tower and a mid T1 tower at that. The knight comes in S4. Going to deny some one to gold from Fata in the mid lane. Oh, this is Fata's first competitive match on Shadowfin in the league. It's almost a year. We do get Rusty on this here. Is this something where it was their last pick? It may have not been Cloudline's plan from the start, but so far he's looking pretty good. So far, everything going very well for Fata. A lot of CS uh, under his belt, top of the network, thanks to Misery. And I'm going to clear some stacks oh, look to at increase his lead. He's going to lead here, but Arteezy, looking to help out his team, has snuck his way into the road camp pit with a medallion treads, level 7 wolves, and... This is this is very uh, timing to go, because at this point, if you are on C9, you would expect the Lycan to just move into the jungle and leave the support to actually yep. farm. You would not affect a rush that early by RTZ. It's normally like around 10 to 11 minutes, perhaps. You would yeah. expect this. He has the medal, and that's why he could have actually do this so early. Bottom lane, the rush chance going on. They're going to be in cloud notification onto his axe, but not enough damage to bring him down. Puppy just teeping in, kind of more scaring off. Cloud9 more than anything, and the yeah. wave of terror into the Rose Champion, that's going to secure the Aegis. The like also oh, gets Arteezy up to level 8.5 now, so... 
Gives you the boost of his XP, but more importantly, his farm now catching up to the tiny as well as Shadow Fiend, who were uh, an outlast hitting him and just getting a lot more kills out of the map. So he's relocated in the ring of the Hunter, and that's Kuro, who'd been kind of taking over the farm in that top lane. So at this point, trying to transition him into a, at least a sim carry. That was a key kill. He was very close to getting his Midas. Yeah. It's a very key kill. But probably slow him down by one or two minutes. He might not sound much, but in the long run, it will change the game. Definitely. It's something that helps the team. After the secret, secret team gets uh, that early rush out. We haven't seen Silencer this turn. Is, what do you think of Silencer for Secret and how they're kind of playing it as a kind of more core hero rather than a hard support? I, I think, like what the panel discussed earlier, mainly the combination of C91 and the RP and also the channeling ultimate from the Bane and here comes Vita. With the haste rune, gonna steal the stacks and even the way there he is. Yeah. Arteezy, can uh, go down once, do they go for fight? Oh, this is possibly really bad for Arteezy, he missed time! Oh no! The global style was there though, Fata. I guess in he may have not got the Millennium Mizzle, although he did use it way too early with Acer, he wants to chase down Arteezy even further, the second race is Arteezy jukes to the trees, and now Polly a turn around from Secret, they've lost S4 to start things off though. And he with a blink tag, he goes blinking in, misses the avalanche though, now he's in too deep! Four heroes are in the two hero battle cook from Sai. He wants in, but skewer in to an RP, but no, there's no RP. Bone Sav is not even level six. Uh, now pop the Hot is gonna finish him off though. And he brings down the young prodigy and Cloud9 gonna lose them in the meantime. Arted looking to throw more raises. It's a few, but not enough damage to bring down the Venge or the X both. Just one raise away from dying. S will come back after dying. The orb is still winning Rifter. Secret. This shoot fight battle so far, but Avalanche it's two! Followed up by one reckless formation. Kuro now in all sorts of trouble. Should have been getting thrown forward. There's no mark for a race, but it doesn't matter. C9. Get another kill. RT team meanwhile getting the kill on the wind there with the wolves. What just happened? That is so serious aggression coming out of C9. This Blinker on Tiny came out of nowhere. Yeah, Bling Agar Tiny. There was a key key item and key factor of the fight. Allowing it Last time to do what he did in that fight. Very really the the tiny players actually get the blink even without he basically don't even have any transition items like a drum or anything, just a thread so to the something that you don't see very often to, to be the right decision yeah. in that fight. It changed it definitely then win the fight. Like, even though they missed the Shadow Fane record initially on the edges of the Larkin, but I still I still think the Bling Dagger from Tiny played a huge part. It wasn't a perfectly executed fight. I mean, the the record was missed time. The first point Avalanche actually completely missed. It was the second and the third one which were good from Envy, but C9 just with a big item angle. And well, another avalanche top and hit two immediate kill on the ventral spirit and S4 gonna oh, Is he gonna go for the jaunt down? The rest Fata! Perfectly placed timed. Catches out S4 who's having a mis Blame the lane stage is just so impossible against the enfeeble blend. Well the damage has been done, Cloud Knight. You shut down S4 and the game suddenly gets a whole lot easier. Uh, he, their main tempo controller, I mean the axe is also a tempo controller, but both of them know when yet to the Definitely get another pick off on silence here. This, this blink dagger is... This blink on the time just proved to be the best decision they made. Oh, stop on big daddy note, they're gonna f*** the game, but it's, it's a good price to pay for silencer. Yeah, it feels like at this point that's a, not exactly a, a huge key for secret to be getting. They had to use a shapeshift and everything for it, which is a pretty long cooldown level one. So Artesi will make his way bottom lane, but another two minutes roughly before he has another ultimate. Dyer, so this just attack. opens up even more for C9. They can start pressuring some more towers if they want, go bottom lane or top lane, take it to one. And sure, Envy went for this blink target, but I feel like it's not going to do the overall farm. If they can get it, some stacks going... Yeah. Like for, for, for sure. And you've been power to fall back on, you're going to get an accept. Sure, it's going to be like an accept to maybe five, ten minutes later than you'd normally get it, but he's... Uh, it's gonna find Ar Arteezy as well. Oh, and Arteezy may see some damage here. If he takes his ancients, that could be really bad for him. Where is the witch? Is he gonna bring someone over? Well, he's no one with him for the he time being. He can to the to top lane and just bring someone with the real okay for this kill. It seems Envy's just waiting for Arteezy to get a bit lower and it'll be go in. Hits the toss, he wants to follow with the real okay and Arteezy. Isama, no mercy today.
as he picks himself up a wicked six streak. And while well, this team, they'll take the top T1 tower. 5,000. Oh, gonna for find Zai as well. Oh, oh that was close. Oh. That, that was close. Radiant's bottom tower is C9 under now looking to invade the enemy jungle here. They have got smoked up from lane. S4 brought down by Wist Tower. Well, there's gonna be a feat out onto Puppy. The close silence used, but. Puppy and Kuro look like they're in trouble. Misery still taking it up, gets swapped kind of to safety here. The TPI get cancelled by a skewer. Boat 7 says hello. You're boat today. And Kuro and it as well. Four secret heroes on the sidelines. 15 kills to five. Secret just falling apart here in game one. No, it was just it was a really good play from C9 in general. From the game, it started with the misery support, bringing it up to pressure the park. And the play leader from the tiny, the rotations, the supports. Just a, uh, just very good game sense and gameplay from C9 in general. They understood that they needed to focus on shutting down the park, and the X. Both of them are how compared to the blink. Oh, X just got his blink. Park is nowhere near. I mean, what do you do? You you seek. You've got the X blink. I mean, if they gank, with China, they need to gank the relocate. I mean, the Wiz and Tiny's lane. Otherwise, there will always be a relocate to build that team out. Not inherently take. If he finds someone else and there's a tiny relocating in, he maybe kills a Magnus or someone, but he's gonna pick it with his life. Hmm. Possibly a second hero. Over I thought even has 3.4k go right now. There's so many selections that he can go for that is really, like BKB, Manta for global silence. Anything that gives him stats and survivability would be very yeah. would be a very good item to add to his arsenal right So now. just just sing it up and make sure that you're not gonna die into yeah, that blink there's hole. There's two source of damage from their, their team, the Tiny and the Shadowfin, and at this point of the game, they just need to survive the global silence and they're gonna wrap the whole bigger team. Well, even with the Snuck Aegis, uh, TZ and Team Tier are unable to get too much done in this game. This is the main weakness of not having the Chen, your lane's compromise when you don't have it. And, and, and you run, you run a, flag, a Puck and he gets a matchup like Shadowfin, Puck doesn't, doesn't do well against Shadowfin naturally and you Add on the misery bane, helping the shadow field on this in the result. Oh, like relocate! I found a bit of shape shift, but it may not be able to get off the avalanche. Is there an easy slam dunk and puppy in trouble as well? Here comes S4, but the recoil may save uh, puppy. Not gonna get crushed just yet. It's S4 and said you go to the toss. No phase shift available. And he wants puppy as well. The change is on. Global silence comes out, but that's not gonna skip Mitchell. They're triple kill for a turn level. He wants more. They're chasing it, looks like. Blink dagger available soon. B. Blink Dagger in second, the Avalanche could reach if he can get it close enough. And, oh, it gets dodged by Kuro. The Blink Call is there as well. I'm going to get pulled into the TNT Tower. No buybacks available. Otherwise, maybe something you would have considered using to try and ruin MB Streak. He's on a beyond good luck streak, but he keeps himself alive. He has to be very, really careful if he's going for all these dives. If the Wiz is not around, he's going to give up a lot of gold when he dies. But at this point, and he's playing absolutely amazing with his item, itemization and decision making. Very well done by uh, the captain of the team. And with all these skills, all the towers, Boon 7 has enough money for his Blink Dagger. Envy's got enough money. Nag Scepter! He went for Treads, Drums, and Blink Dagger, and... Here we go, the ancient stacks with one point of power. Nag Scepter already done for the tiny, so he just needs to collect it and... Yeah, they can do it. And this is a huge source of income for the tiny. Yeah, he's going to get the Ag Scepter and this will be like another 1,500, 2,000 gold. He can practically pick up a Hyper Stone mm. off of this. That was really good uh, by Bonsai as well, moving the tree there along the engine so it's easier to get the stack off going for them. And he's going to get a huge sort of come here. Ag Scepter coming in and Bone Seven is just going to pop up. Yep. Pop I drop the Empower, get the farm done for him. Secret just get back some map control. Do you want as much as they can in their own job? I, I I don't know how can they fight at this point of the game. It's so they are so far behind. Even going for pickoff is not an option because of relocate. This is going to be one of the the poorest S fours we've ever seen. It just feels like see this problem is you don't really have a tempo controller. S four getting shut down in lane and not having a jungle. They have the vengeful spirit plus silence, a support duo they don't often run. With neither of these two heroes able to control the game, S four getting shut down. There's no real way to fight in the mid game. Yeah, even in the late game, you argue Secret cannot, cannot fight against C9's lineup. Like, yeah. With, with Tiny with the Magnus, no, I mean, this is without even mentioning, mean, you got Shadow Feet. Sky All of these heroes. He went for Sky, I mean, he could. At this point, he literally could go anything he wants. 
and eating winter. Yeah, re <laughs> not day. I can I can come up with <laughs> creative shadow theme builds if you want to try me. <laughs> Anything along the lines of the okay. along the lines of a competitive game. Right. <laughs> Well, C9 now with that ancient stack claim gets envy up to 13,000 worth. Faster on 12,000. Okay. Oh, it's too late. Relocate. Oh, God, but you can get the tether. And now it looks like C9 can be back here. Zai blinks some of the. Want to bring Big Daddy? No, no wisp here. Zai is just squishy. He's going to fall down if he's not careful. Meanwhile, gets himself his 11th bean script. Going to get dead with the Summon Wolves here. It's a 3 for 1 star in. That's a kept alive by a fantastic RP. See, you're gonna lose it. This is this right? RT look game. Wisp has come back to the fight. The Fatsuk is just gonna throw a casual Requiem of Souls as S4 is bought back into the trees. He's looking for the TP out. Is this the castle? This doesn't look like it. Meanwhile, RT is like it. Gets down. MB with another kill. He's up to 4,000 gold. He bought his axe uh, two minutes ago. This is more or less already over for us because they are so far behind and. They just got out here by seeing him at this point of the game. That's so, uh, uh, just way too behind. Venture balance, you need to be ahead. <sighs> when you're behind, you don't really offer much for a team. Apart from the long cooldown as a sensor. They're gonna get a pick off on Big Daddy here. Uh, in a second, who can he tether to? There's a mid creep way that's out of range, it seems. Zai that's gets like the. the that's like just a minor constellation prize they get after losing so much. You know, I bet from the pot, he's. Man. Is he even going to get his thing at some point? Who would have thought we would ever see a game where S4 at 21 minutes in on puck doesn't have blink dagger? Who would have thought indeed? No surprises in this tournament. And we saw the Bane pick earlier by 9 and it looked like uh, just a train wreck. The pick didn't work out at all. It got hard counted. This time around though, we see a Bane pick with a much clearer plan as far as dominating the lane stage, shutting down S4, and Misery since then hasn't yeah, got one or two kills on the act, but since then he hasn't done too much. Now we go. They're, they're going to immediately scout the smoke here. Play. They woo, they're not going to. The, the line wolves have, have been seen by the Sentry Wards, and Fata going to look to break. Avalanche catches up. Hey, a Wisp would be the first target, though. He kind of relocates. He's using a teaser to crush. S4 goes in with a reigning with global silence and with a hero on the high ground. Manages to help bring on the Wisp with a shockwave from Magnus. Shreds him apart, and Tiny now gets another for his trophy collection. And while this Tiny's just S4. out of control, S4 gets gripped, and I would be surprised to see a DD at this point. No record to claim, but this game is out of control. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think they can even come back anymore. It's more or less they're just probably talking about what they what went wrong in the game, and they just uh, focus on the next game. Like sometimes it's even better to maybe console energy, yeah. but it's a big event, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they just stay. They just tries to find more time. Like, hopefully, if they actually get a win, like maybe C9 overextends, gives a couple of kills, yeah. then you are back into the game. What you mentioned, like they're, they're thinking about discussing what went wrong. What, what do you feel like went wrong? Was it a purely drafting? Was it uh, execution? What what could have done with this draft, or was it just lost cause? Uh, I think the one thing they could have done was maybe send one of the supports to help the puck during the first few waves, like the first two minutes when the Bane was actually being a pest towards the puck. I'm not sure if that would actually solve the issue because job and the ego and the puck couldn't last it. It doesn't matter if Vench or the Silencer came over to help, the puck would still be in the same hole that he is and he was in the game. So the other thing would probably be a gank to try and get the Shadow Fin. I'm really not too sure, but those two options doesn't seem like it's going to be a guaranteed way Secret could have solved that problem. It's just a, an option there. Yeah. The bait, I feel like, out of this entire C9 draft, that was the X Factor. That's something which Secret, in their pre-game discussion amongst the team, what they're going to pick, what picks they have to worry about. Like, they were willing to give C9 a wisp. They were, at no point, I imagine, discussing the threat of a Bane pick. Yeah, that is something that would have even come up. This is also the one of the three games that they have the, on, the, uh, on the mid lane instead of the safe lane, and this type of this type of scenario happened happened to them. It wouldn't have happened if the park is safe lane and the Lycan or Shadow Fiend. They usually run RTZ mid, Lycan yeah. or Shadow Fiend. I think they lie on safe lane just because of the last pick Shadow Fiend. Yeah, well. they couldn't lane the Lycan against the Shadow Fiend. Just the problem. Another really comes in yep. at the top. I just blink back, and the Avalanche toss is going to be 
should be enough to fit him off. The toss That's forward and Zai. Bro, down man, with this the ease. Is getting really ugly. Oh, they want to be catching out this whisper. Looks like they know where he's hiding. Envy's going to come back in with him. Envy cannot afford to die himself. Global Silence is going to be used. They kill the whisper. Envy just cleaving off of the Ancients. Almost kills off the puck. One more cleave. He does it through the Ancients. What a play. He's got Aegis. He's not even worried about dying. The wolf is canceling his blink dagger, unfortunately. But he doesn't care. It's Sparta with a one godlike streak as well. They have two heroes. I think that's the first time in a lot of tournaments. Pen and Shadow Fiend. You have two heroes on the same team. It's one of the best teams in the tournament as well. This is not like missing some throwaway team. Uh, it's, uh, I just feel the laning phase for this two weeks, basically. Yeah, like, they had to they don't put the like mid. They had to put the puck mid against the Shadow Fiend. And puck against Shadow Fiend, even without the Bane help, is really a fair match for him. And Bane was disrupted so much that it was just impossible for the puck to last it. Uh, and puck, that's it. And it's gonna end. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> And B finds one more. Puppy throws in the towel. GG is called. And this game just is the most excited to physical. We haven't seen them lose very often, but this is a loss with a big message. This is Cloud9 saying, this is a series. You guys are going to have to show up and do something different to beat us. The adjustment that uh, C9 made was very good. This game with the last pick, Shadow Fiend, changed.